Well, so far, so good. We are in the red. Yep. Are we good? Do we have... Hmm. The internet is very spotty today. So... Yeah, it's been rainy and windy all day, but it says I'm in the green. So, hello. I see you nice and steady now. Nice and steady? Good, because... It keeps going red to green to red to green. It's it's a literal nightmare. Hi. Technical difficulties on my end. I hope you're all doing well. I <laughs> saw so you were offline and got worried. No, I if, if I can have it, I'm gonna stream, damn it. But um for some reason our uh Yeah, thank you guys for sticking with us in chat. People watching the second video, welcome. <laughs> Just came back from the teeth mechanic, nice. Alright. So, before we got rudely disconnected by the internet at large, we were fighting that monster. So, we're back at it again. Hopefully we don't dip. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah, we transformed into Agni, the the centaur, lion, lizard, dragon from hell. Who also may be a little horny. So we're gonna we're gonna back at it again. Back at it again, chat. And we only need. <laughs> We only needed one more! <laughs> oh god, so good. How did you beat me? This can't be! Alright, chat, we did it. Oh, good. Okay. I'm just gonna go. I, I don't know. Also. Hmm. Interesting. More stairs. <gasps> the heart. Oh, can we, like, do something? No. Is this gonna be a boss gauntlet? I'm not entirely sure. Oh! Oh, these guys are new and cool. <laughs> Decker, yes! Welcome to my domain. You can see that here are my decorative hearts the size of cars. Mm. Oh, these gargoyles are tough. Oh, well, they don't hit for a lot, so I guess I got that going for me. <laughs> decorative hearts is my favorite indie 90s band. It's a good one. It's a good band. Uh, let's mess up these golems, shall we? Or gargoyles? I don't know why I said golems. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't... They just do HP sponges. Let's mess these dudes up with Puka. Alright, but hi. Hope you're doing well. We're in the thick of it. And I'm gonna have to upload two videos to YouTube. <laughs> Which is fine. It's more of a nuisance than anything. Pup-pup-pup-pooka! 
Exactly. See, chat gets it. Chat gets me. Oh. We should probably just auto battle. Save save our. Since these guys don't do a ton of damage. Yeah, they're doing 30. Come on. Come on. We'll just auto battle this. Let me just scream at you for 730 damage. Alright. Alright, things have stabilized a little bit. Oh, I say that. We'll see. Um. Oh, I see what to do. Alright. So yeah, apologies for those who had to endure this. We're uh I'm looking I'm looking at the meter right now and it is nutty how up and down it is. Good Man Games is streaming their D DCC game today and remind me how cringy it is to watch people play pen and paper role playing games. You know, it's funny, I love watching people play that kind of stuff, but I don't, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you have to either go all in or ham it up to the to the tenth degree because otherwise it's like weird cringe but people who love doing that shit like when they put their all in even if they're not like voice actors or whatever it's like mm, mwah. Although it's been a hot minute since I've listened to a live play of a tabletop role-playing game. Adventure Zone, I think, was the last one that I watched. Oh, it hurts me so much. I watched a group play a module I'm planning on running for inspiration. There was one play that was cringe. <laughs> A married couple that seemed to hate each other and the rest were pretty rad. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean... I guess it depends on what... Oh! I didn't even... Oh, okay. So it's just another heart. Yeah, I feel like you kind of have to... Do your best to stay away from the... the the kind of the typical tropes of <gasps> oh are we gonna interesting you've kept up with me in spite of the odds well done if you switch to my side i could give you a town or two playing with couples is hit or miss it can be what do you say? You wanna what do you say, Beep? You wanna join? Do you wanna join the Dragon Gang? No. That's too bad. Oh! Oh no. Oh, it's a horrible looking. Uh defense will revert. Oh, it's horrifying. I, 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 what am I, it's like, it couldn't decide what it wanted to be. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Agni. Uh... 
Yeah, I think the green part is the eye of its face, maybe? Wow. Wow. That does, like, 999 does nothing. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be uh, dangerous. Oh, nice, John. Yeah, uh, I think the VOD might have it, but uh, yeah, Agni didn't have a name. It was just the ultimate power, which is so rad. Ooh, I gotta. Mm, I have to keep an eye out. I have to make sure to heal. We might actually do it here. Because we can... We can still use items. And use a Malan! Malan! I don't know why I go like really bad Arnold Schwarzenegger impression when I'm when I say melon. when games introduce an auto battle feature mm. you just rejoice in the in the weird is this the final boss i feel like this is like another one of the i feel like this is a zog moment where it's um uh like oh you've defeated me but now you have to fight god or whatever or like god's like oh you killed my person I don't I don't know that's my theory anyways Ooh, we're getting close we sh should be okay it, it is a JRPG after all you do fight Jade grinned fearlessly um let's Let's use a healing item. Let's use another Malan. Or do we use our last? No, Malan. <laughs> yeah. And in JRPGs, God is involved somehow. Whether we like it or not, we are at war with the JRPG God. Come on, we can do this. How much invisible fake HP does he have? We're close. How many more 999s do you think he can take, chat? Oh! That was rude. Oh! <laughs> okay. Ha! Are you happy now that you've beaten me? <gasps> Bilbo! Thank you for the cheer, for the, for the, the cheer? Yes, it is. This unicorn looks like a thing. Are you happy now that you've beaten me? Don't let it get to your head. You didn't really defeat me. It was my destiny to lose. I knew it was, I knew it when I released the goddess. Enjoy meeting Tyr, the goddess of destruction. Okay. Uh, now, do we have any MP restoring things? Because... Yeah, at some point I'll do a... 
a personal bit thing. We're... Oh, what does this do? Oh, perfect. I knew that word or juror did something. Oh, that was an elevator. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, ho, I was acting weak on purpose because I knew I was already defeated. <laughs> it was full of anti-zombie water. Yeah, I forgot about that stuff too. I was a little nervous. What do you want? Did you come here to have a wish granted? No? You didn't come for a wish? Then why are you here? Why do you have your sword out? Are you ready to fight? Oh, well. Oops. Why would I want the ultimate sword? For this uh, one fight. Well, wouldn't we use Agni anyways? Because Agni's the good ending. It's too late. We're going in. Put oh. Ox's best hammer. Let's destroy. You can't challenge me to a fight. You're only humans. I'll destroy you all. I don't believe this. amazing it doesn't matter oh my god that's terrifying ah! she got that anime angry Goku hair for a second and then turned into this <gasps> okay doing a little a dragon, a bird lady, snake lady, Lupin the third. You know, we're all humans. <laughs> uh oh. Don't. Okay. Woo. The goddess is intrigued. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ow. It's like something. It's like it's like aliens. All right, we got this. I'll probably heal this next one. <laughs> the goddess is intrigued by something. We must bonk her for being intrigued. <laughs> Send Agni to horny jail. That's basically what, what's going on. That's what we'll do. We were really close to the end, huh? Yeah, we're not even an hour in, and we're at the supposed... Like, I this looks like a final boss. Like, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but... Even with the technical difficulties, it wasn't even an hour. <laughs> There we go. Um, we should be good. We should heal next time, though. 
Like, what's the point of a health bar at this point if most of their health is hidden behind some weird... Oh, it looks like my internet's stabilized. Well, it says it's stabilized on... Or, if it looks stabilized, awesome. But over here, it's just, the, the bit rate is just like, sometimes it's up here, sometimes it's down here, sometimes it's zero for a second, but, but, yeah, it's going all over the place, man. And unfortunately, that's what happens with, uh, internet, apparently. So, hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's at least watchable. If not, the VOD will be up on YouTube. And eventually I will make a custom chat command to link the YouTube. But if not, it should be right under here. I'm glad I kept all of those cures. God, imagine if you were just this gross monstrosity, just floating through the ether. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Like, at least the final boss in Final Fantasy VII was like, Look, the top half of me is hot, and the rest of me is an abomination. Which I feel like is, like, later Final Fantasy boss types. Hagney really streamlines the game. That's true. That's true. <gasps> oh, big crash. No. Oh, okay, it's only 70. Whew, I was nervous. Those Some of those magic attacks hurt. <laughs> Press the win button. Yes. If I just hit this button, I win. <laughs> Gross monstrosity floating through the ether. That's how I feel after a long game. I feel that. Um, we we can probably take a, another hit. Oh yeah, we're we're totally fine. What a silly. The boss health in this game is absolutely ridiculous. Cause some fights are just like, I technically hit zero minutes ago, but it's like. No, 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 it's got hidden HP. Like, then don't give me a health bar. <laughs> Just let me guess. It's such a silly concept to me. Yep, this is... That's why I'm using Cure. <laughs> the false choice, yeah, basically. I think it just had one real HP and like 50 billion hidden HP. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what's going on right now. God, but it does let you appreciate the grotesque monster that is this goddess. Ugh. Just drooling mouths. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six visible mouths, but I imagine there's more to the sides that we're not seeing. Ugh. Okay, big crash, that's bad. Okay. I think... We should be fine. It hasn't done anything yet that's been concerning. Although we should heal next turn. I don't like being below 50 in case there's like that one super move. Because the last guy had a move that it only used once and it was like, it did 400 damage and took like half of my health. It was bad. What a... I am the goddess tier nightmare monster. Oh! 
There we go. You can't win, humans. This is only temporary. Why does it look like we're in like a boat? I shall return. <laughs> 10 experience. Rude. Oh, this place is just falling apart. And sh should I be should I be moving? Should I be Oh, I can't move. Oh, that god is broke. It's true. 12 GP. Oh, bye. I couldn't move. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> my, and my controllers are still on, so there's that. Oh, I can, but I can fly, you know? And so can my bird brethren who helped me fight God. Fought dragon God? Sarah, I'm proud of you, Beep. You turned the tables on the goddess of destruction. You and your companions completed the missions of the legendary warriors. This is the beginning of a new legend. I have watched you succeed, so I have no regrets in leaving you. Beep. Wait! Goodbye, Beep. You made me proud. You are a true warrior. <gasps> no! Sarah! Why did our mom name you a normal name and named me Beep? Dragon Lord, you have done well. I'll remember that you saved the world. This is the beginning of a new legend. It's finally over. It's about time. I like to imagine Karn is now just for this one moment is Duke Nukem. It's about damn time. There is still much work for you. You must help those lost who lost much during the war. The legend of legendary legends. You're right, Bilbo. Can we take a break? <laughs> it's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of ass to kick? Oh, no. A real hero doesn't quit until the job's done. We're making history. We'll all be legends someday. Dreaming. <laughs> That's right. Oh, don't forget, you still owe me money, Gobi. I'm gonna... The first thing I do after Dragon School, or after, the, after this quest, is sear you alive. <laughs> Again with the money. It's time to kick bubble gum and chew ass. I mean, uh. <laughs> Is he worthy of hero status? And I'm all out of kick. Let's go. Soldier, Nina, we should return to the castle. The king is waiting. There's still a lot of work left to be done. Tell the king that I'll return when I'm ready. Wow, she just told her dad to fuck off and wait. I love it. <laughs> I love that God is just chilling there on the world map. He's like, kicking it old school. Oh, I like how the bird just flying over to the places we went. That's cute. Oh yeah, I remember the the windmill city, the wind city, mole land. Because I couldn't be bothered to remember the fantasy names. Meryl. Blah, blah. Oh, she goes back to sleep. Oh, they get all their... Oh, he gets to go back and be with his baby. Oh, and the fish gets to go back to fish land. Or something. I 
I remember that time where John tricked you to go back to get the dragon armor from the ducks. I do remember that. I know Bleak. I remember Bleak. <gasps> oh, remembering the old robot that sacrificed his life because he couldn't bear the tragedy of his own destruction. Not that we left a, you know, Metal Gear with the keys in it just laying around for people to acquire. Oh, it's cute. Everyone's kind of going back to their own places. <laughs> Bye, Beep. I must go. Oh, and there's me going back home. Wait, isn't my town destroyed? Oh, they're rebuilding! Or, or just moving around really fast. But I think they're rebuilding. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back to this. <gasps> Aww. Sarah's like, I fucked up, but I wanted to be with you. That's so fun. The English version. <laughs> I like how they don't even have their names. It's just like the like which which NPC describes you? Ted Woosley. Oh, is that what that thing looked like? Yucky. Ah, yes, James Gillis, the crying woman who turned into God. Rah, rah, rah. Well, we did it, chat. My goodness. Not flattering for old Ted. Definitely not. Ted Woolsey. He, oh, he did a lot of things. And he's also a cool dragon. I'll tell you what, the sprite work in this game is... Uh, that's that Golden Age SNES polish. It's so good. I actually really liked this golem, like, Mega Man X-style villain. Mm. Why'd he get on there twice? I don't know, maybe he that maybe that's how good he was. I forgot about how terrifying this thing is. Nathan, you're scary. <laughs> I remember when when credits were this long and you could get to the end before like being like all right I'm done <laughs> they reuse the heck out of that swirly hand oh that thing is crazy I love that whatever it was Even even the the nighthead fire who can who can forget the it better thank you or else and you the player yes ah this was a fun romp I mean it it definitely suffered from its um early days of and all the folks at Capcom Japan. And you, the pill bug. Yes! I murdered myself so often. Thanks for playing. <gasps> They're thanking me? I actually really love when they thank you, the player. This was a good game, chat. Besides the, uh... <laughs> and you, you filthy little bug. Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Well, that was um, that was an experience. I didn't get to experience that in my SNES days, and this was fun. Besides the random, like you kind of have to like mosey around. It was the perfect length. I enjoyed the. Uh, I enjoyed all the little secrets that they put in it. I don't know how you would have figured that out without calling up the Nintendo or Capcom hotline and be like, hey, I, I need help. Well, do this. Um, so yeah, holy shit. This was, this was good. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna remember this moment. We're gonna create a suspend point right there. So I can always be like, that time, baby. Um, but now that things have stabilized on my end, we kind of, it's still throwback Thursday and I still have two and a half hours. CT has a ton of them, just the optional side quests, heart of any good game at a hundred percent. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I need to, let's do something real quick. Um, let's, let's just, uh, let's close that for a second. Here's what we're going to do, chat. W didn't have this planned, but we can either play Loop Hero on my current save as just kind of like a bonus for the two and a half hours, or we can start Chrono Trigger. But thing is, we're going to have to chat for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, um, but that's it. That's, that's Breath of Fire, baby. I loved it. So here's what we're going to do. There we go. My goodness, that was fun. Chrono Trigger is the next game on our list, but I need to log into steam i thought we would honestly i thought that dungeon was going to be longer satan didn't make that dungeon let's just let's just put that that rumor to rest um yeah it wasn't nearly as bad it, it is nice that that final dungeon wasn't a nightmare because um Sometimes games can be a bit unrelenting in that aspect. I kind of want CT. I feel it. I feel it. I'm logging into Steam right now. Make sure I got everything situated for that. But, um, but while we're doing that, we can talk about... There were two parts where you could loop endlessly if you weren't paying attention. Oh rude so rude um you're gonna have to give me a second chat but let's let's uh who were your um my personal favorite character was Karn. Uh, I wish Puka hadn't been the, um, I wish Puka hadn't been the final form, but I think overall it was like, I think overall Karn was, was probably the most fun. And I wish that Mogu and Gobi were a little more interesting. And those hearts were probably red herrings. I, you know, honestly, I'm glad I was just like, let's just go through it. Because. Yeah. Puka was grotesque. <sighs> Fair. Okay. So here is what I'm going to do. For those of you watching the VOD later. Thank you so much for being here for the finale. I'm sorry I had to split into two 
30 minute episodes ish i uh that hopefully the internet has stabilized a little bit and the quality in the vod later will be great so um gotta run all right uh john i hope you have a lovely evening but for those of you watching later thank you so much for being here and i hope to see you in the next video for those of you who are well actually you know what here's what we'll do we're gonna we're gonna 